Hey guys, it's Miz and it is what it is, and I am so excited to be partnering with Alablaster. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I hope so because I've watched so many TikToks. I've watched a couple of my friends do reviews, hauls, and they're, they've had such an amazing experience with this company. And the fact that they sent me a box, I am so grateful and blessed to be partnered with them. And let's just kind of get started into this box. So here's our box. This is the packaging that you get when you get your box. Here we have our box. Can you see that? Ow. My jeans got stuck to the chair. Okay, so here's our box. It says, the oldest story is one of making God created, God made, God form. Our desire is to create an imprint of that story designed into the fabric of our existence. So, I already love it so much. So let's go on Ella Blaster go on alablaster.com and sharing with you guys what is on the screen so alablaster you get free shipping over orders $80 we got the book of James we have bundles and pairing I actually have the four gospels the story of Jesus with a visual imagery and thoughtful design you can subscribe they have reading plans devotionals videos so I don't know where to start this website is like literally so cool and cute I say cute for everything, I'm sorry. It says, welcome. Hi, we're Alablaster. We're so glad that you're on the on the journey with us. Our vision is for all of humanity experience, to experience God as beautiful. We believe beauty matters in our understanding of who God is. And together with you, we should have to make products to help bring forth beauty in the world. How did we start? Our journey was in 2016 with the Bible. We integrate visual imagery and thoughtful design into different books of the Bible. We believe in divine inspiration, trustworthiness, and authority of the Bible. And we bring this into everything that we make and do. We knew that the story of God was beautiful and we wanted to create a beautiful reading experience. We ultimately hope it, we ultimately hope it helps deepen your relationship with God. Oops, not a notification we have beauty and faith and so that's kind of what they're intertwined with so that's good to know we're gonna stop right there and really dive into these books uh, the gospel of John in the beginning the word created the word already exists the word was with God the word was God so that's the back we have the gospel of Luke we have the Gospel of Mark, and we have the Gospel of Matthew. It's from our hearts, thank you. Your order means the world to us. May it bring beauty in your life. May it inspire you to make good things around you. May it help you experience God. And then, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. And that is our little clip. Clip? Is it a clip? looks like a video or a hair okay anyways then a little bit of the box we have a website email all their socials platforms that you guys can find them on we have facebook youtube instagram twitter tiktok share your experience continue the conversation so really love the packaging it says creativity beauty and faith so i feel like that is really what this brand is cultivating they're cultivating beauty and faith and i love that so much i love imagery i don't know about you guys but i love photography i love looking at stuff visually like that is visually beautiful put together and crafted and you always want to do that for any of your artwork and your creation so and that's what God is all about. Everything that he has made in this world is beautiful, fine, and it's just so full of faith, so full of his, um, so full of his nature and his character. And um, this is so cool to think that they took a book of the Bible and they added um, that imagery, that style that they were looking for. They created it and crafted it. So the first book we're going to go over is the book of Matthew. So it says, I did not come to abolish the law of Moses or the writing of the prophets. No, I came to accomplish their purpose. So this is on the back of the book, Gospel of Matthew. Sorry, that just sounded so weird to me. So we have this beautiful sea. Love it so much. So beautiful. I live in California, so like I love going to the beach. And so like this is just really nice and aesthetic, you know? So, let's just get into this. So, it has the art introduction, art 
artist introduction i cannot read today i'm so sorry i'm so embarrassed like i usually can read a little bit better but some odd reason like the reading i'm struggling to read <laughs> i don't know so um a little bit about that i've noticed oh maybe it's not here oh yes what i noticed when i was reading into the artist introduction is that they use colors that represent certain like the books of the bible and i thought that was so cool because like i love colors you see like they have different colors in the background and as you notice blue and we have blue on the cover and this one says we continue to explore the mop um, the modfits of Matthew with deep blues, a color, uh, a color representing depth and trust, and subject matter exposing fulfillment and progression. We explore continuing visual lines as symbols of time, age to convey continuance of covenant and the law that Matthew draws to Jesus. Jesus is the chosen King, Son of God, and Son of David. So, I thought that was so cool because I was like, I'm seeing that a little bit of the cover is also the same color inside the book and I was like that's so interesting or maybe like they weren't trying to do that on purpose but they were definitely doing that on purpose and we'll get into the other meanings of these books but honestly like I really love these books so much they're visually like beautiful and just to like it's very calming it's very peaceful like when I look at this like there's peace I think of his nature like what the lord has created and it's just so beautiful every picture is so beautiful even the symbols and the paintings within so beautiful so john let's see what color they got the color explanation for this i think that's just so cool we chose the color gray to motivate our creative focus because first first because it's a color often associated with um the light and wispy nature of mystery there's one word in here that i can't read i I can't read certain things, so we're just going to let that slide. And second, since the remaining Alabaster Gospel series, our primary colors emphasize the distinctiveness of John through, through non-color, we continue the accents of sage green and natural subject matter and materials to celebrate the diversity of creation. In a culture that is often detached from the na natural world, our relationship to it, we explore the world through the eyes of Jesus as creator. In doing so, we also explore John's claim that Jesus is not only Messiah, but the Son of God who created everything. So we got gray, we got deep blues, we got the gospel of Luke, and I love, I love yellow, I love orangey colors. Orangey colors? Orange colors? I don't really know. Um, let's see, and students among his following um, oh, there's a color. Um, we choose the color gold. Oh, it's gold. <laughs> As the dominant mod fit in creative thinking, gold is complexing. It generates both negative and positive feelings within us. Negatively, we may be averse to gold because we associate it with a type of exaggeration and wealth that characterize our greedy world. Jesus speaks candidly about this in Luke, as money is a central theme throughout the book. So we got gold and we have the gospel of mark Ooh, i like that color that mark with splashes of red a color that hearkens to our culture's visual language of love and the human experience we explore objects landscapes with the upside down orientation overlapping nature to depict the superlative and ex bleh, revelationary kingdom of god i can't really breathe those are big words those are really big words so friends i am gonna so i have the book of mark right here i've actually done a book of mark study with my church and i think we're gonna go in whoa <laughs> we're gonna go on this page this is going to be chapter 12 uh chapter 12 verse 28 through 34 the most important commandment one of the teachers of religious law was standing there listening to the debate he realized that jesus had answered well so he asked oh all the commandments which is the most important jesus replied the most important commandment is this listen O israel the lord your god is the one and only lord you must love the lord with all your heart all your soul all your mind and all your strength the second is equally important love your neighbor as yourself no other commandment is greater than this the teacher of religious law replied well 
Well said, teacher. You have spoken the truth by saying there is only one God and no other. And I know it is important to love him with all my heart and all my understanding and all my strength and to love my neighbor as myself. This is more important than... Uh, Sorry. <laughs> this is more important than to offer all of the burnt offerings and sacrifice required in the law. Realizing how much the man understood, Jesus said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after all, no one dared to ask him any more questions. And so, let's end off this note with this, like, review and just thinking to ourselves, like, love God. Like, okay. Uh, so just so just reading that commandment again I do have that verse on my wall but really meditating on that today and every single day like love God with all your heart all your understanding you know when you go through trials it may like for me I'm gonna speak from personal experience it makes me love him so much more and just reading the Bible it's been like a little I've been a little bit off and this is why it also took me a long time to film this video because I wasn't in my word and I don't want to create content that glorifies God when I haven't been in my word. And, um, you know, I'm not condemning myself, but I also know that I get my strength from God and I have been feeling weak. I haven't been feeling like myself. I can tell when I don't read my Bible, when I'm not in it, when I'm not studying it, meditating and memorizing the word of God. And, um... You know, I'm reminded every single day to love God with all my heart, with all my understanding, with all my strength, and to love others. I know loving others can be hard when they hurt you, when you can't forgive them, when they've done hurtful things to you, when they've backstabbed you, when, you know, it's like they have little things that irritate you, but just continue to love, like, love literally overcomes all evil literally i just i love saying i love you i love that you're watching this video i love that this company sent this to me like i'm just so grateful and when you're that even turns into so much gratitude as well because you're just so thankful that jesus lord our god loves us so much that he continues to pour into us runs after us and i'm just so grateful and thankful for that and I just like so thankful for my friends that I have now because they love me so much and like even the people that you surround yourself with like they can show God's love to you and that reminds me of God's love even though we are not perfect I'm not saying we're God I'm just saying that you know sometimes you're like oh, I like I don't see it I don't feel it but sometimes your friends can show you the love that God has for you and so that just reminds me but I don't think that like my friends are God or anything so I just think it's so important that we love God first and we love our neighbor as we love ourselves and like that's something that um, I used to struggle with I used to struggle with like really loving myself and I started to change the way I loved myself because I saw how God loved me and that changed my heart and so now I love God even more and because he loves me like I love myself in that way that he sees me like I'm reminded that I'm fearfully wonderfully made and so that's how I walk my life that's how I see God and he loves me in that way and so like I know what it's like to not love yourself and so I'm reminded to love myself so I can love other people and love them well and it's just a blessing and I'm just so 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 grateful to have partnered with Alablaster for these um these book of the bibles um please forgive me i do have foundation on the side of my bibles but my bibles there's only one bible i'm sorry the books in the bible like i literally have so much foundation on these bad boys but i'm just so excited and so grateful thank you so much alabaster for sponsoring this video and allowing me to review these um beautiful creations that you guys have made and i hope that we partner up in the future and i'm just so grateful for more to come and if you guys want to get your hands on any of these um separate individual books of the bible they will be linked down below i have a coupon code for you guys as well and comment your favorite book of the bible comment what you thought was interesting about the colors in these books i thought it was so cool i was like oh that's really cool we got deep blues we got grays we got gold we got red like just the intentionality behind these books are so incredible so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in eh. oh my gosh have you guys noticed i've done this all through the video i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep going this is the real authentic me but i will see you guys in the next video bye guys